subscribe subscribe before we start okay oh my god Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Why is she? I <laughs> use that for. Uh, if you're going, go. hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys have been well. I don't know if you've read the title of the video. Today we're going to talk about skincare, like just basic skincare for any skin type, like what are the rules you know um right now i know there are like so many things in the market the corners cleansers serums essences hyaluronic acid ahas bhas like there's all kinds of things exfoliators chemical exfoliators physical exfoliators so like when you're starting out your skincare like you're just bombarded with like all these products in the market and you just wonder like where do i start so there are two Okay, it's like three, so I'm going to tell you the first two things and the last one, which is like a must, must, must that everyone should have. Actually, it's two things that you should know. So I'll talk about three of them, but I'll talk about the first two. Then the last one is actually the most important. So stay tuned to the end so that you know which, what, what is that skincare rule that you must have towards the end. So the first skincare rule that you need to like you know everyone needs to know whether you have whatever kind of skin you have is you need to know your type of skin now um you might have dry skin like me i have dry sensitive skin you might have oily skin you might have normal skin like my mom you may have um that and then you may have acne and then there are also types of acne there's uh fungal acne cystic acne there's i guess hormonal acne there's all kinds like i think i have a bit of hormonal acne down here because i have dry skin but i always get pimples down here around here and i just read the other day that that has nothing to do with my skin it's just the hormones combination combination like like i think my sister nicole has that so you have like an oily t-zone and then the rest of your face is dry so if you tend to shine around your nose and your forehead and i guess your chin you have that kind of like type of skin so you need to know your type of skin there's some products that will literally just tell you down there this is meant for dry skin or sensitive skin this is better for oily skin and it even goes all the way to makeup things that you have to do cleanse exfoliate tone and then moisturize i've added the exfoliation i've seen so much of a difference once i started exfoliating but let's just talk about cleansers there are cleansers for different types of skin and you'll find that different formulations work for like different skincare types like i find like most people with like Eily, ati eily, oh my god, <laughs> eily, oily, acne, I think I was thinking about acne and oily, that's how I came to eily, so if you have oily and acne prone skin, most people who have that kind of skin prefer um, foam cleansers, you know, the type that actually forms when you use it, if you have dry skin like my, mine, you'll prefer milk cleanser, Lately, I'm using this, no pH good morning gel cleanser Cosrx, but I also use this. This is the CeraVe. Sorry, this is the CeraVe hydrating cleanser. Now both of them actually have what can I say? Um, they have different can I say consistencies? It has more of like a gel milk like consistency, and this is more of a gel, and it's actually a foaming cleanser. Is that? I don't know if it's going to form on dry skin, but you can see that if, if there was alright, it would like actually form. So uh, cleansers that I use, like like right now that I put on makeup, I'll probably use the Cosrx one, this one. But if I'm just in the house, I haven't really been anywhere, which I am of late, I'll use this because it's a very gentle cleanser and it's very good for dry skin. So you can use this every day. But I've noticed. It's not going to give you that cleanse that you want. So pe for, for people with oily skin, this will not work for you. Uh, sensitive dry skin, the low Cosrx, uh, this one is very good because it's uh, low pH. So it's going to balance out the pH of your skin. 
so this is very good so that's why it's so important that you know what type of skin you have toners work the same way they're toners for different kinds of things they're toners to minimize your pores they're toners again to balance the ph of your skin they're toners that hydrate they're toners that brighten they're toners that even exfoliate at the moment i have this this is the nature republic uh soothing and moisture aloe vera gel mist this i used to have like the actual gel gel but i think i prefer the mist like i don't know i feel like that absorbs better into my skin so i usually use this if i want that soothing feeling or if in the morning if it's in the morning and i don't want to do like because i don't do like full skincare routine in the morning i try to preserve moisture in my skin so i'll just splash water on my face then i'll spray this down i don't wash my face in the morning because i think it just takes away the moisture in my skin i'll spray this then i'll go on to put on moisturizer and sunscreen other one that i have is this one this is the pyung kang yu essence toner so that's another type of toner actually so that one kind of prepares your skin and essence toner prepares your skin to like receive um moisture or hydration or even you can even use another toner on top of that toner yeah moisturizing um still depends on your skin type most people with oily skin really want like light light moisturizers and they actually want oil free moisturizers um moisturizers you know have nothing to do with oil they have more to do with like hydration so you have to be careful which moisturizer you're using because you may actually end up using a moisturizer that causes you acne because it's too heavy for your skin and when you're layering on skin products like think of your skin as like a sponge so when you layer your skin you need to start with like light the lighter consistency so you see this toner it's very light consistency this is very light then as you go on maybe you add in a serum but we're talking about basic skincare here so you'll just go on to add your moisturizer and that's when you start doing you know the heavy heavy cream you put on your moisturizer before you put on your serum your moisturizer is not really going to get into your skin because moisturizer is heavier than the serum so this is what i use this is the claire's rich moist soothing cream it all depends with your needs like what are the needs of your skin i have very dry sensitive skin my skin gets irritated easily so i need something that's going to soothe it so you'll see most of my products it just needs to have that word soothing i have this and i have another one avino moisture repair cream now that's a heavier cream so i'll probably use that at night i prefer that at night to just you know give my skin the time it needs to repair and to you know gain that moisture and stuff i prefer that because if i use that during the day i've noticed i i end up looking greasy and oily because it's very heavy and of course i'm going to end up like putting on sunscreen during the day so that's another layer i'm going to add on probably makeup but at night i'll do that and i think it, it really works well i've noticed it works well at night or on days where i feel like my skin is extra dry i also wanted to say this about toners and i just read that the other day because i've noticed my toners behave differently when it's cooler or when it's winter i know we don't have winter in africa don't come for me but basically what i'm saying is like if it's cooler um there like i noticed my toner i need to rub it in acne or oily skin most people use cleansing pads to you know tone their faces because for them that kind of toner it's actually helping cleanse their face you know it's helping um clear away any cleanser or product that may have been left and also any impurities that may have been left my toners don't do that my toners hydrate so i don't really even rub them in but i've noticed that i have to rub them in i think now that it's cooler but when it was much warmer i would just spray down or just apply it all over my face and then just wait for it to all just be absorbed into the skin toners you apply them differently depending on your skin type and you really need to learn how to listen to your skin listening to your skin in the sense of don't even end up like ever ex over exfoliating exfoliators and their chemical exfoliators they work differently there are some that are more aggressive you have to be careful um physical exfoliators 
because you may rub your skin too much end up tearing it end up irritating it I have done that several times and I've just had to stop everything like exfoliated and that's why nowadays they do not recommend for you to use um, physical exfoliators they recommend chemical exfoliators now there are different types of chemical exfoliators these AHAs BHAs these PHAs these ones work for different they're like some that are natural and then there's some that are chemical and they work for different skin types me I go for the more mild ones because my skin is sensitive so I'll probably go for PHAs peptides those ones work really well on sensitive skin and actually what I use for exfoliation is um, I have this, I don't know what they call them, they call them sonic cleansers, so that's what I use on my face. So that's actually more of a physical exfoliator and I find that that works very well. I'm yet to invest in a chemical exfoliator because I'm still trying to see what will work for me in the market. Though I have my eyes on the ordinaries, um, this is the ordinary mandelic acid. I had it's very good for sensitive skin, something like that, that's a Korean product. It actually tones and lightly exfoliates so that's a, those are two good chemical exfoliators that I know for sensitive skin I don't talk about exfoliators for anyone else but I'll tell you this if you're going to use a chemical exfoliator please put on sunscreen or else it will come back to haunt you like like that's happened to me <laughs> and to my sisters so you have to be careful when you're doing that um, the other important thing forget these three is to know your skin type and guess what sans I have with me the misha essence spf 45 sunscreen and this is what i've been using of late before i was using the neutrogena one of the neutrogena ranges hydra hydra something sunscreen and that was really good though it kind of left a white cast on me um this leaves a slightly white cast once you put it on but after some time the white cast disappears so i guess it's good for women of color if you're a person of color sunscreen is for anyone sunscreen is actually for every man woman and child like if you're alive you should be using sunscreen you should even be putting sunscreen on your baby it's really so important if you're not if you're starting out then invest in a sunscreen the majority of these products will be lost if you're not using a sunscreen it doesn't make sense it doesn't matter how much you claw a uh, clone cleanse the cleanse and the tone how much you cleanse tone exfoliate moisturize if you're not using a sunscreen then all this goes to waste and so if you're going to do anything fast is invest in sunscreen and then slowly start to build up your skincare routine so once you've done the cleansing toning moisturizing exfoliating then you start asking yourself um, about the serums and the essences and the eye cream personally I don't believe in eye cream I think you can just use any normal moisturizer you really 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 don't need an eye cream I'm not going to waste my money on that those are just my thoughts i don't believe in eye cream and i don't believe in using sunscreen in the house that ain't happening here no 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 so then from there you start asking yourself like what else does my skin need do you feel like you need an extra layer of hydration so you invest in a serum that offers you hydration or you invest in a brightening serum like may have okay fine right now i have one makeup but i have a lot of spots from eczema i suffer from eczema so i have a lot of spots all over and i have scars from eczema so i want to invest in a hydrating brightening serum you know something that's going to give me both of those things that's going to help with hyperpigmentation and that's going to help fed away the dark spots I can also invest in more products I guess that are soothing in more toners that are soothing and different kinds of exfoliators masks sheet masks it all depends with how your skin is feeling like that day maybe that day you are out in the sun for too long or you know like especially when it gets cold and notice my skin gets dry so you need maybe a sheet mask for hydration or you need a sheet mask to just brighten up your face it all depends with where your skin is at so that's how you start now to build from these five that I'm just from talking about and this is for all skincare types if you want to know now the nitty-gritty like 
the science of it all there's this uh youtube page called beauty within it breaks it down for you it will break down for you you know the layers of your skin the products to use products re reacting with this kind of products because there's certain products with it that don't go together so you need to know that you need to check out their beauty page like they have amazing reviews on everything and they'll tell you everything you need to know about skincare but the scientific way that's if you're if you're up for it if it's not too much i always try and watch like one or two videos and after that my mind is gone i can't really watch anymore so thank you for watching um please subscribe oh my god i don't know i forget to say this uh, subscribe subscribe like share and comment and tell me what you think i wasn't doing a video before because i had like <clears throat> i went to work ended up with like allergies you know like the worst allergies ever so i got this i don't know if you know this indian balm it's called kaluma and then i had it all over my face like my nose here and it just burnt me like like i woke up the next day and the skin around there was dry and hard no you can't see because um i have on makeup let me see no oh i can't see it a bit okay i can see it but it was bad like i could not film you would have no you didn't have right away but they feel comfortable filming in that manner so that's it so i'll talk about my jewelry can you talk about my jewelry i hope you see this these are from these hoops are from essos this small one i think these, these are my mom's these are my mom's and i'm into loop so much now but if you want to see more of my style you'll check out my instagram i'm putting on this necklace i don't know if you can see it I'm putting on this necklace and like my turban my it's a play suit uh, my play suit is from boohoo so I'm going to show for you guys is yeah the spaghetti the pasta dish and hopefully I'll be able to give you an update on the kitchen next time don't forget to subscribe okay this is get Nicole. us to a hundred get Lucy to a hundred subscribers a hundred I want a thousand subscribers I ain't before in, before you when before you aim next for week. the moon you will reach for the stars does that make sense if you aim for the stars you will land on the moon now if i aim for 100 i'll end up with like 10 subscribers though right now but i'm almost at 50 subscribers and i'm so grateful yes so coming up is a tutorial not a tutorial but just tips for dry skin how to manage your dry skin spaghetti i'll show you my simple spaghetti recipe that i'm going to actually rate some of these products on their own i'm just going to do a review on some of them or else bye see you next time